Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the fifth or sixth part of Canarium. Just came down a huge stone elevator. It's pretty cool. And um, yeah, now I'm in the deep depths. I don't know what's going on down here, but we're pretty far down in the temple. And it's um, it's pretty freaking creepy, man. What's with all these mushrooms? Why can't I pick them up? I want to I wanna eat them. I want to go on a spiritual journey to glow stick land. Just swing around a bunch of glow sticks all day long. That's all you have to do. That's your job in glow stick land. Okay. I want to charge this up because every time you walk through plants, if it runs out of power, you die. So I, I, I'm kind of paranoid. I just want to keep it all nice and charged up. So that I don't die, because dying is not, you know, I don't like that. Okay, is there like a side corridor? Yep, buddy. Why is there still water, though? Like, isn't the temperature low enough so that, you know, it should be frozen? I would think it'd be frozen, because, you know, I'm pretty sure that water freezes at zero degrees. And it's probably like a billion below zero down here. This is looking more and more like a really cool temple and burial thingy I guess they have a lot of cool wait what's this what's this what are those it's definitely some kind of burial ceremony you put yeah I guess you put the dead body in or over water and then you put four stones around them I wonder what the symbolism behind that is It'd be really cool to know anyway <laughs> oh, see, I'm not charged up. I can't go through. Darn. Can I charge up with these mushrooms? Oh, man. How the heck am I going to get through with no obelisks? They're all dead. I guess I'll have to go around then. Oh, see, look. They're all gone. Dang. Can I turn it on, please? It's not working. It's totally dead, so we're going to have to find a way to bring the light down here. Oh. 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 You're not as scary as you look. Blah! You're scary. <laughs> it sounds like someone's following me. Or it feels like someone's following me. I do not like it. I hate it. Somebody there? I swear to God, somebody's there. Usually those are full of mushrooms. I wonder what the deal with those are. Anyway, just pots full of mushrooms everywhere. I guess that's what the lizard people ate. Oh, this room again. All right. Owie. Yes. This, this room brings a lot of pain. It is depicted here. Our gateway out of this world. These reliefs clearly portray ancient Cornarium. The thing I have been searching for my whole life. As much as I can understand, that one depicts a seemingly dead city as an ever-living organism with lots of mummified bodies connected to the device. Incredible. Uh, uh... Uh, and the other one depicts an ancient cornarium which is connected to another one, most probably outside of this planet, or maybe out of this dimension. Oh my, this is just marvelous. That is actually super cool. Okay, I guess we're going to have to turn on the, all these obelisks again. So all we need to do is... Yep, got her. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, yeah. Okay, just turn it. There you go. Yes. Yes, now everything works as it did before. Although, question, huh? Are these Canarium? Or are these just purely just lights some kind of lighthouse 
to message throughout the city? I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing. What is going on? Please don't do that to me. Ow, 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 ow. I can't bow the pain anymore. <laughs> it does hurt, though. Seriously, I need a Tylenol. Three. Okay, so now I just need to find my way back to those plants, so I can go through. Aha! Oh damn! I just came back to where I just went. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. Let's just turn back around again. My apologies. I got turned around. I need a map, is what I need. You would think that Dr. Faust and his whole crew would have a very detailed map of this area. Either that, or they had really good memories. Because I got lost like ten times already. And I've just been walking... What? What is that? Go away! Go away, go away, fuck this. I'm out, boys! I'm out of here! You're too scary! I don't think I want to go that way. Fuck that. No, I'm out of here. Bye. 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 I'm out of here. Is he still following me? Is he gone? I hope he's gone. You'll never catch me. Whoa! There he is. Whoa! Ho <laughs> ho Tricky. Alright. Where am I going? Where am I going? I think I'm just, yeah, going back directly where I came from. Don't look behind you. He's right on my ass. Oh, he's right on my butt cheeks. Oh my god, there's so many more coming. <laughs> Charge the thing. Charge the thing. Yes! Oh, he got me! He got me! Just happened. For these must be the products of my disordered imagination. Nothing more. I don't know if I trust that. <laughs> In these dark and dank runes, you can't even trust yourself. You wake up and you've stabbed yourself in the back. Oh, here's another passageway. Okay. Let's use the axe. Yeah, baby. Come on out. Oh my god, come here. This stone works. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! My strength is unmatched! There you go, little fella. Okay. This is a secret, apparently. And what's down here, though? It looks like a mausoleum. Ooh. Shiny! Give me that. Looks... <laughs> ribbit. 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 Ribbit! A beautifully ornate metallic mask reptilian face carved on it. Does not indicate the purpose served in its day. It's probably like a burial mask or... Some type of, you know, ceremonial mask. We don't know what type of ceremony it was for. But us, we can be that. We can be sure of that. That's for sure. It's kind of funny, though, how this, how this game thinks that, like... Somebody say something? Y'all better pipe down. All right, go back to sleep. I won't say it again. I do think it's kind of funny how this game thinks that like all ancient civilizations would write the purpose of whatever the object is on the object. It's like if we wrote cup 
on a cup so that, you know, in the future, if somebody happened to find our civilization, they would know what a drinking vessel would be for. Although, when you're looking at ancient stuff, it's pretty hard to tell sometimes. But the people who find it always try to make this, like, fantastic thing that it was for. They find, like, a vase or something, and this they're like, this was probably hold, used to hold the pee of the gods! So they worship this thing. Whatever it is. I'm thinking it's some kind of seed pod, and this is what the, all these little plants come from. So this is the alien civilization that worshipped these plants because they were like a killer. That's what they were in the movie Ruin too. They were a type of killer and they they were like all powerful and the civilization worshipped them. Dr. Faust, is that you? Don't know if anybody reads this or if there is anyone still alive out there. I, I've lost everybody who was on my search party. I am alone and afraid. Even from the out of place echoes of my own footsteps that are reverberating along these halls of ages long silence. It is hard to tell if I am alive anymore. Those visions, sounds, the, the devilish themes described in the release I come across every uh, now and then. We were not meant to be here. Dr. Faust! Oh, that was him! Are you there? Answer me, please! Dr. Faust, why can't you hear me? Maybe I just think I'm talking, but I'm so high, I'm not even talking. Oh, some nice little shelves in the in the middle of, you know, nowhere. So I can, you know, just put some things. Candles that are still lit! These have to be a figment, unless... The search party. I don't want to hit these bells because I think I'm going to wake something up. Like, is there a lizard around here? I think there's a wizard. I mean, lizard, wizard, wizard, lizard. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. I should probably get out of here. But I want to see what's going to happen. What is that? Should I go? I can't resist. Is that Dr. Faust? Woo! Okay, never mind. Whoa! Whoa, standing kind of close there, buddy. Back up, I want some personal space. Oh, they disappeared, cool. This is really strange, but that was obviously some kind of ceremony. Maybe a death ceremony? Maybe he's on his deathbed? And he's like a, a really old lizard? We could create a backstory for him too. He was a really old lizard. He worked at the Wizard Lizard Emporium. He was a hard working young gentleman. He raised through the ranks of the organization until he became the CEO. Loved by all his peers. Feared by all his enemies! Many came to his funeral, but none returned. Are we back in that house again? No more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores, for there are things that cannot be undone. What is going on? Dr. Faust? Is that you? Let me let me comfort you, buddy. You gonna be okay, dude? Everything's gonna be fine.
I think something really either maybe we're gonna find something super cool or something real scary is about to happen. Not sure which, but I hope we're about to find something really cool because I want to be transported to the lizard planet. Doctor Faust, look out behind you, dude! In front. Okay, never mind then. I guess that was just another dream. Uh, was, was that a sheer delusion? That's why my dreams never work. They're always caught by those. Okay, let's see. Need one of these? I find a lot of these. You found a torch. Cool. Wow, this is a ridiculous amount of dream catchers. Box? Hello, Box. We need to be cautious. Not to let anyone else see this grand collection. It could be extremely dangerous for both of us. Are those the heads of everybody in the party? What is going on here? Whatever it is, I don't like it. Deliberately preserved heads from Mesopotamian marshlands. Oh, okay. All right. Such cultivated minds kept in permanence by getting dried under the scorching sun with methods now lost to us. It'd probably be pretty easy to figure out. It was like one, I think it was Angkor Wat, and they were trying to figure out how they made these stones so flat. Anyways, eventually they figured out that all they did was rub them together on another really flat stone. And then that's how they became so flat. It's kind of cool when they try and make it all mysterious and creepy and stuff. But, I mean, really, all this stuff was pretty simple back in the day. It's not like it was magic. Crocodile! A stuffed sub-adult Nile crocodile. One of the oldest creatures still living on the face of the earth. But he wasn't even an adult. Wow, how long do they live? A medicine man mask from Northwest Africa. Grandfather actually had a, a bunch of these around his house. They were obviously fake, but and they were Jamaican, so, you know, they were a little different. They looked more like these. A sacrifice ritual mask from Middle Africa. Looks awesome. Is Dr. Faust in my head now? Okay, there's got to be more stuff around. Dr. Faust, I thought you had nothing but cool stuff. Where's all the rest of it? Okay, let's go. I wish I had a museum in my house. Crocodiles hanging around everywhere. Wake up in the middle of the night, though, and scare the shit out of myself when I'm trying to take a dump. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like a preparation for a long trip. Looks like a bowling ball bag. Lost. Guess I'm not going on a trip anywhere. Okay, now that is a little scary. This relic is from Madagascar. I have two versions, but this one is extremely rare. It is called Ur Hanaldi. Nobody knows exactly what it means, but from its symbolic depiction of a dark sphere inside a light one, it is thought that it could mean the underworld. I had it brought by an old captain friend who often visits that island for trading purposes. Yeah, I'll tell you what it's all about. So the shaman can scare the living tits off of everybody in the village. Crazy old man walking through the village, shaking a skull around like, pfft, I'd be scared of him too. I'd think he was magical. Ooh, I should probably turn that one around a little bit more, just in case there's a story behind it. Nope. That one definitely represents death, though, with the black feathers. This is exactly the same room I've been in, in one of my visions. What in the heck is that? Ooh. Ah! 
What you've told me about the shared nature of the experience the Canarium provides may... <laughs> okay, I'm just... I'm saying it weird. Made me think about the necromantic means of data inquiry. I'm sure you'll remember that I told you about um, certain corpses never decay. Uh, what do they call it? Incorruptibility, I think. But the rest firm and fat in their tombs for a thousand years. I believe, with some help from certain acquaintance, I can provide you with such specimens. That would be beneficial for both of us, I believe. Eagerly awaiting your answer, H. Warren. H. Warren, you sound like a sick, sadistic man. That's something I've always been fascinated with, though. The fact that bodies just, they just never decay. Well, only certain ones in certain areas, but it's, it's just so cool. from the Asmat people of New Guinea. Their creation myth says Fumeripits made the first carvings of men and women. By beating on this drum, Fumeripits caused the figures to dance, bringing them to life. So it's a magic drum. Nice, okay, I'm gonna keep that in mind. According to legend, this very djembe belonged to a learned drummer from Senegal who can speak with the dead by rhythmically beating it. It's fake. It's probably fake. It's probably fake. You probably just waste your money. All right, what's this? Hi. Those are the plants. Those are the flowers. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, so this is just the room that I've been visiting several times in my dreams. Dr. Faust, where you at? Where are you at, dude? I need to know because I want to get out of here because it's freaking scary. Oh, that one looks awesome. Mask of an all powerful moon goddess, esteemed by an eastern island tribe, now lost in time. It is from the private collection of the late famous hermit, Klaus von Herdeth. Don't ask me how I get it. I have my ways. So you stole it. I wonder how many cool and weird lost carvings from like lost civilization are just in private collections. Elusive mask from the submerged parts of Kogulin Islands. It's from Atlantis. Ooh, what's this? A cryptic mask with an untraced origin. That one is definitely from the lizard people. 100%. Okay. Ooh, more cool stuff. I won this in second grade. Spelling bee. <laughs> Nerd. Oh, it's a device. Is it great cheese? Looks like a great cheese. I do have one. What? Where did it go? I totally had one. I don't think I'm going to find one anyway. How can we comprehend exactly how uh, much time has passed since the erection of the earliest ziggurats of the samurai? What can we know about the Time Worms Sonics still standing on the Giza Plateau? They only justify the sheer ignorance of mankind by forcefully making us admit our instantaneous vibrations in the vast cosmos of an... This sounds like a crazy person writing. Today, I want to inform you about something that is equally as interesting as such edifices. That is something I presume you will have a hard time believing, just like the rest of what I'm writing. I've finally acquired some information regarding the fabled cities of Rubel at Kali, which are said to have been built in the undreamt age of certain wonders and rumored to have been intentionally submerged beneath the eternally shifting sands thousands of years ago. There is even more to the story according to a reliable source. There should be depictions of such information about the locations of ancient canariums buried with those within those halls. Within a few weeks, I'll receive a book containing the locations of these cities and the map predating all maps known today, directly copied from an anti divulian org originals. <laughs> I am sure you're excited beyond imagination and eager to discuss these in detail. This sounds like a psychotic person writing words. Ooh, these ones are pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm not going to keep looking at them, though. I've looked at enough of them. 
o'clock. What time is it? 11 12. Ah, the canary. What are, what are these? Secondary part. Uh, primary part. Interior. So it's... What does it actually do, though? Secondary, blah, 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 blah. Is there anything on the back? Oh, there's no description. You cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. So this is a canarium, I guess. Hey, now it's locked. So I do have to figure out how to open that door. Ooh, Skulls creepy. from New Guinea that are believed to be housing protective spirits. Well, they are purple. Ooh, this one's awesome. It's got a little sun on it and some little lizards and stuff. Awesome skull. This one is happy. This is a little tiny face. The mask of the beholder. I behold thee. Blah! That's probably my favorite one, just because of the face on it. <laughs> okay, okay. I guess we're gonna have to figure this out. Whatever this may be, I'm gonna be shredding something. I think. And I need a phonograph cylinder to tell me how it works. But it's obviously not in this room. What is going on, babe? Hmm. Oh. Back there. So I've got to open it. Yeah. It plugs into something. An ornamental metallic object. What's this? Phonograph cylinder, baby. No wonder those types of things look like ancient magical objects. It's just like a cylinder with some bumps on it. When using Cornarium, we are able to be seen as well as to see. For some time, I was detecting a conscious something, previously unseen by my rudimentary vestiges. Only lately, it becomes clear to me. Now it comes into every session. It seems to materialize more and more each time. I won't, I won't attempt describing it, but only would say that it's not benevolent. From what I can get from its glowing semblance, which I believe is used as a way of communication, it can sense you only if you spend a considerable time within the sessions. I've read about it in the cursed Necronomicon and some elusive records compiled from deep-rooted Bedouin oral literature. Thus learned that it tries reaching the corporeal vessel to dominate and execute the wanderers of the beyond, such as ourselves. But again, against all warnings, I was a fool to believe that I can stop it with just simple signs and incantations. As a resort, we ended up lighting up the place with myriads of candles, as well as electrical lamps. But still shiver with fear, with every noise our rundown enclave is causing. Isolated from ancient darkness of the night. An incubus? I don't get what's with the horse, though. Okay. Sounds cool enough. Maybe I can plug that little thingy in to here. Doesn't look like I can do anything with it. But it does look like it plugs into the middle of this somewhere. No, it's got different shapes. I'll have to figure that out later. Hmm. Maybe I can continue, though. No. It's locked. Ah! Here we go. Down to the basement. Got some popsicles. Lying outside the space-time continuum, this is a dimension to which the gate is knowledge and the key is the canarium. As we start to shed our fleshly bondings, we start to perceive more and more. If we inquire by merely knowing and thinking on a subject matter, windows to related time and space open up before our non-material selves, our minds. 
and what's better, we've grasped the experiences in the sessions are shared and improved by all the attendees, personal knowledge, even thinking about the possibilities that may bestow upon us in our quest for transcending the limits of our mortal bodies and is beginning to make me crazy. But, yeah, it sounds like it. It sounds like you're completely nuts. Ah, that's what it's for. Cool. I just want to take a quick look around at these little egg guys. It's a little Russian doll. All right, let's go. So he's got a secret canarium thingy. Oh, the goddess of the moon. So I have to figure out these signs, probably. By figuring out the masks, I would say. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end it there, and we'll do this next episode. Adios!